Hello Borough fans, it's Joe from Borough Fan TV and this is the preview for the upcoming game on Saturday the 30th of January with a 12.30pm kickoff as the Borough take on Norwich City in the Scarbet Championship at Carroll Road. Now, what can I say Borough fans? What on earth can I say? Um, I'm just truly lost for words at the last performance, you know, the 3-0 defeat at the Riverside against Rotherham United. I mean, in the start of 2021, we had three young games and we lost them both. Um, the two of them were just a 1-0, they're fair enough, but to get 3-0 by the side that were currently third bottom of the league, I mean, it was just too much to take for us Spurs fans, so some of them must, so to speak. Um, obviously, the, the only two chances that were created for the game was only through Sam Morsi, who had two efforts on goal. One of them was saved by the goalkeeper, Jamal Blackburn, and the other one, but he could have took it in in the second half, but he instead he blazed it over. But... Uh, Rotherham, the fair play to Rotherham, you know, they did uh, capitalise on their opportunities when they, when they did. Uh, Matt Crooks put them ahead uh, just before half time, I think I do recall, which uh, Marcus Bettinelli, I think, could have done a lot better, to be honest. I think this game was definitely Bettinelli's uh, worst in the Borough shirt so far this season, in my opinion. And then, second half, uh, we can see the penalty, which was dispatched by Michael Smith. And then, in the, in, in the, 90, in the 92nd minute, um, the third goal went in through um, through Ryan through Ryan Giles, who was on loan from Wolves, but he did spend the first part of the season on loan at Coventry to give the Millers uh, a much needed boost to help the ease their relegation worries. So I know with um, with Burr's, um current injuries and what they got at the moment, which we did miss uh, very dearly. You know, we mi like we missed Tavernier, we missed Fry, who was unavailable due to their injuries and picked up against Blackburn, but. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, Dale Fry is hopefully going to be back in the squad for the game coming up on uh, on Saturday. Provided, of course, he wears a protective face mask. Um, we just had reports as well that uh, Tavernier will probably be out for at least a few weeks after the scan was confirmed that he did have a problem with his knee at, at the game against Blackburn. But um, the game also, we saw Grant Hall return to the side, even though he was an unused substitute in midweek. Um, and obviously, uh, uh, they're just bringing Ashley Fletcher slowly round uh, to back to full fitness as well. And we just said that Marcus Brown has had successful ACL surgery. You know, he's out for the season, but you know, it's good to see that his uh, surgery was a success. And uh, but a bit of good news for the Borough um, regarding the transfer window, as uh, you may have heard just today, we've completed the signing of Yannick Balassi on loan to the end of the season from Everton. Uh, so third time lucky. We finally got Balassi into the club just to help with Warnock, who had him when he was at Crystal Palace. Well, they were both at Crystal Palace, you know, and um, helped seal the deal. And hopefully, fingers crossed, there's more deals to come because I know Warnock said uh, in his press conference that they uh, definitely look for a couple more players on loan to fit into, the, fit into the squad before the deadline, which is on February the 1st. So I think he said he needs uh, like an all and out fullback who can play at centre back as well, so possibly a striker as well. but We'll see what happens between now and February the 1st, which is this Monday coming, I believe. Apart from that, you know, squad's all fully good to go. Uh, as I mentioned, most of the injuries, have, people have been coming back from injuries now recently. So hopefully this, we'll get, we're back up to speed along with uh, the new signing, signing, of course, of Balassi. Now we're going to our opponents, Norwich City, who we know um, are the current runaway leaders in the championship at the moment. At the moment they're currently six points uh, clear ahead at top of the table in the championship. Um, obviously there's ones behind them are Swansea and Watford with, with uh, Swansea being second on goal difference alone um, now Norwich's record going into this game uh, is uh, played 25 won 16 drawn 5 and lost 4 last game out for them they obviously played in the FA Cup this weekend uh, but they got knocked out 1-0 at the hands of Barnsley but the last league game was a 2-0 home win against Bristol City um, they're currently on a 4 game unbeaten run at the moment um Stretching back from their last defeat, which was uh, away at Watford back at Boxing Day. So Daniel Farker's men have certainly got a good rhythm going in order to uh, go to back, back to the first time of asking to the Premier League. More than likely, will probably be as champions because they played some very, very good football this season, have knowledge. And especially with the players they've got in, the, in their ranks as well, who are potentially, you know, Premier League class. Uh, especially one who could potentially play a part in this game, but either way, he's been... Um, Heavy link with a move away recently, and that is Emi Buendia. I know he's been heavily linked with a move to Arsenal recently, but if he does play, um, he's going to be their main threat, I reckon, in this game throughout because he's a terrific playmaker. 
Uh, obviously, uh, he'll be missed at championship level if he does go, but hopefully, you know, he, he will be involved in the squad in the Norwich team uh, for the game on Saturday. Other players to watch out for, um, obviously, former Borough player Jordan Hugel is in there. Um, I think he's their current main striker at the moment with um, Team Apuki uh, absent recently. Um, but even though Team Apuki is linked up to the same, hopefully within the next couple of uh, next couple of days or so. So, um, and also Ben Gibson as well, a uh, former Borough player who obviously we know about all too well. And they've got the likes of Grant Hanley at the back as well as Max Ahrens, uh, Mario Vancic, um, Lucas Rupp as well who can cause a threat, and Ornel Hernandez as well. So, they're a very good side of Norwich and I won't be surprised if they're, de they're definitely in contention to go up this season as the championship champions. Now, the last time we played Norwich was obviously uh, the 1-0 defeat back at the Riverside um, a couple of months ago now. Um, as we all know, the Marcus Tavernier double dutch penalty, which uh, obviously cost us big time in the end because Norwich went up and scored the penalty of their own through Timo Puki. Um, now... As we all know, Borough fans, you know, our record against Norwich over the years has been a bit a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, I can remember the time we played at Carroll Road. Remember the 4 all draw where we were winning 4-1 and then Norwich had hit back to very late on to score three goals. And that was in the Premier League back in the, I think it was the 0-4-5 season, I think I do recall. And also that, that day at Wembley, that day at Wembley in the playoff final. The less said than that and the better Borough fans, to be truthful. But hopefully, you know, we do have a good record uh, away from home recently than our treacherous record so far at home uh, recently. So hopefully, you know, at the home of the current championship leaders, Borough fans, do you think we will end the month of January with three points at Carroll Road? Well, let us know your thoughts in the comments in, in the in, thoughts and com comments in below, Borough fans, in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe as always. Our social media links to our Facebook, Instagram and Twitter are in the description below. And until then, Borough fans, I've been Joe from Borough Fan TV and I will see you on the next preview video, which will be for the home game against Brentford at the start of February. Until then, Borough fans, take care and up the Borough.